So guys, uh, we're here at the range. No one else is here at the moment. Um, and we are testing the lab radar on the 300 Remington Ultra Mag with the Banish 30 Gold Suppressor. And we're testing it with the uh, trigger source. So this is the trigger. You can see the wire running to the lab radar because what I found out was that uh, without this trigger, uh, the lab radar wasn't picking up um, the, the projectile, the, the bullet traveling to the target, and I wasn't getting um, my velocity readings. So um, a more knowledgeable friend suggested that I should look into this uh, JKL Precision trigger. And I believe uh, the inventor of this trigger is based out of Germany. So thanks a lot to our German buddies uh, who are crazy about target shooting. So thanks for um, getting this done because, man, I'm telling you, this lab radar, I was <laughs> ready to throw it out uh, because with suppressed, it just, just will not work. All right, so what we're going to try to do is um, uh, we're going to, uh, so this one you can see, um, it's at 3153. I'm going to arm it again. So we're good to go. And let's put the 300 Remington Ultra Mag round in. I'm, I'm um, reloading uh, Barnes TTSX bullets. I love these. All right. Uh, and here we go. So you can see the velocity is 3153 there. And now I'm going to shoot. And let's see if the trigger picks it up. So, yep, the trigger worked just fine. You can see the velocity, 3140. So, I guess uh, the solution works. And they told me to work with the positioning of this JKL trigger. So, this was my first attempt, and it's it works. It basically cl clamps on. They, they sell a, a, a little pick rail attachment and then the sensor kind of sticks in there. So you can see I have my pick rail for the bipod. And again, I'm not gonna be using it in the field. It's just for uh, checking the velocity on my rounds. So as you can see, this thing works just fine um, with the recoil. So thanks a lot and I hope you got some pointers out of this video. Take care guys.